So I thought I'd make this quick video on how to make a chassis, or at least how I make a chassis, and I'll be doing it with a, uh, a saber by Levi Neville. I believe this is the ancient democracy hilt. Uh, I'm not very good at video editing, but I'll try to throw in a few pictures that I took along the way of how I lay this guy out and my game plan. Um, but before I start drawing the chassis, I want to make sure I know how I'm going to lay my parts out. Inside the handle or inside the hilt. This particular handle is long enough where I can put the parts side by side, right? So starting from the back, I'll have my speaker, my battery, and my board. Um, and I don't have to stack the battery and board on top of each other or anything like that. So that's how I'm going to uh, draw my chassis. You usually only have two choices either it'll be long enough like this so i can um, stretch it out a little bit or um, the handle is very short so i'll have to uh, put the board on top of the battery and then you know i'll have to go at it that way but i'm using fusion 360 right here so i'm going to start with a blank screen and um, i'm going to start with my battery compartment that's the thing that i like to do so i'm going i'm going to hit c for circle and I'm going to pick this plane right here. I like drawing from this plane. And then go to my midsection right here on my, uh, on my screen. And that's where I'm going to start my circle. And then I need to take my handle and measure the inner diameter of what I want my, my chassis to be. <clears throat> this is a 1.11. I do all my stuff in inches. A lot of people do it in millimeters. Um, I'm old. So... I do it in inches. So uh, 1.11, that's the diameter of my chassis that I want, right? So I'm gonna type in 1.11 and hit enter and that gives me my circle. Uh, I'm then going to come in here and click and highlight that circle and hit Q, hit the Q key for extrude. And um, I'm gonna go three inches. I make most of my battery compartments three inches. So we'll just hit three and hit enter. Now if I rotate, if I go over here and hit this orbit, and I've got this little uh, icon right here. I can circle around here by holding down the, uh, the cursor. And I see I've got a three inch long tube. So I'll hit escape to get out of that. And in Fusion 360, you draw on surfaces. So I'm gonna draw right here. I'm gonna highlight that and then I'm gonna hit L for line. And then that straightens up that surface for me. So you can see if I were to orbit again, you can see where my drawing plane is actually on that plane that I clicked on and you can tell that by these squares and everything the graph basically that's on that plane so I'll hit uh, escape I'll go up here to the right hand side and click on that for the cube and square everything up and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to make my battery compartment on the top portion and so that I can have my board right in front of it so, since I don't have to stack anything so I'll come up here I'll start from my midpoint I'll grab this place on my circle and it will grab that for me as long as I move straight up. Click once for my line. Now I've got my line and I'm going to come 0.74 inches down because my battery and all 18650 batteries are exactly 0.74 inch diameters. So that's my battery diameter basically i'll hit c again for circle and i'm going to come in here and grab that midpoint you can see that triangle right there that means i'm at the midpoint of that line so i'll click there and i'll bring my circle down to here now another line again i'll start at the midpoint come over here and grab the uh, very corner of that circle bring a line up and i'll do the same thing for the other side come over here boom line up that's basically my battery compartment, but now I need to cut it out. So I'm going to click on that, and then while I hold shift, I can use the uh, wheel on the mouse to, to zoom in and out. So I'm going to hold down shift, and that allows me to click multiple objects that I just drew. And then I clicked all the places that I want to take out of my 3-inch tube that I drew. And I'll hit Q again for extrude. And I'll just come over this way. And show you like this now you can see the arrows facing this way so if any number in here was positive 
this would actually be drawing something like this, which is not what we want to do. We want to go back this way to cut into the shape. So I will come in here. I know my tube is three inches long, so I'm going to hit negative three, enter. That is my battery compartment right there. So right away, the first thing I like to do is I like to come around the back here. We'll click this and hit L for line again. And I'm going to draw my little wire path because I like to put wire paths underneath my battery terminal. So I'll grab this. I'm going to bring this down 0.1 inches. 0.1 inches over this way. 0.1 inches over this way. And then I'll bring those lines up. You can bring it up to the circle or you can bring it up here if you want. It doesn't matter which one you do. See, I'll, make, I'll do it both ways. And that gives me this object I can click on. And then while I hold shift, I'll click on this one as well. And hit Q again for extrude. Q, the, the key Q is going to be your best friend when doing something like this. So now the arrow's facing this way. I could hit negative three again to bring that all the way over here. But sometimes I'm not going to know exactly what that measurement is, right, if I don't go in and measure it. So I like to come over here. And instead of distance, I'll click on this and I'll say, I want to extrude to an object. So now I can pick whatever object I want and it will extrude to that. And I want to come to here. So I'll do that and I'll hit enter. So now we've extruded that wire path inside this guy all the way through. And that's the start of our, uh, of our battery compartment. It's pretty much done at this point, actually. Now I'm going to draw the speaker first, the speaker compartment, and we'll do it like this. We're going to come on this plane. We're going to draw a circle. We're going to come over here. You don't have to know the exact measurement, but you can just catch the edge of the plane that you're drawing on and click. And now you've got a circle there. But now I want to draw another line right here because I want this wire path to stay open for my speaker wires. So now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to extrude it again. And in between components, I like to go 0.1 inches. So my arrow is facing this way. I'll, go, I'll do a, neg or a positive 0.1 inches and boom. Now I've just closed off my battery compartment for the back side here that's going to hold my speaker. And this particular hilt holds a... Um, 28 millimeter speaker. A 28 millimeter speaker is basically 1.1 inches, right? Um, I'm going to measure it real quick. Yeah, it's 1.1 inches exactly from uh, side to side. Now, if you forgot what your diameter was here, at any time you want to pull a measurement, you just hit the S button. That brings up this little toolbox here, and I'm going to hit this measure button and click on my circle. Not the plane, but the outline. And then that comes over here, and it tells me, my diameter is 0.11 inches. So this is just going to fit a 28 millimeter speaker. So here's what we're going to do. Come over here and draw a circle. And this is where you're going to have to measure out your components. So the back side of a 28 millimeter speaker is about 0.94 inches. Um, so that's what I'm going to draw, right? I'm going to go 0.94. Boom. Now I've got this inner circle and this outer circle. And I'm going to grab this one because this is the one I want to extrude. How far do I want to take that out? To hold everything, to hold this speaker and for enough room for wires, I'm probably looking at about 0.42. And I, I refer to my calipers a lot, even though I've done this several times. Um, I always like to double check my measurements. So I want this point, 0.42 inches. And we'll stop there. Now, the rim of the speaker is going to sit on the outside of this guy. So what we need to do is we need to come on the surface and hit line. And you need to account for the two solder joints on your speaker on both sides. And the, they are approximately uh, 0.24 inches thick, right? So we're going to go 0.12 up here. I'll draw a line. I'll just follow that out. If you grab the end of your line and it gives you a, totted, a dotted line, you can come straight out to here, do a straight line down here and do, and then 0.24 inches there and bring that back. 
and why we wanted to do this is because we want we want to grab that and this extrude it again and then this time we want to go back to our extrude to object and I'm going to come to the back side of the speaker housing just like that now you can leave it like this but this looks kind of cheesy right this these are all like 90 degree angles it doesn't look good so what you want to do is you, you want to come here you'll grab this line hold down shift grab that line rotate it a little bit keep holding down shift to grab these two lines and now we come up here to the fillet tool now this is 0.24 inches thick so we want to fill it to half of that so 0.12 boom now we've kind of cleaned that up a little bit and it looks a little bit more professional and looks like we know what we're doing um, a little something that I like to do uh, in addition to this is uh, and this for no purpose other than I just like to play around a little bit is I'll come up here I'll come to the straight top of this guy and I'll draw a little circle doesn't matter how big it is make sure you well I mean it does matter you know you want to make sure you got enough room here for your filament to print so I just draw a little circle like that I'll hit the S key and bring up my uh, toolbar and in here I'll type in pattern and this is a circular pattern right here this is what I want so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this first it wants you to grab the object so I'm gonna grab that object then I want to come over here and highlight my center point this is gonna be my center point and now it's drawn me three circles but I like to do 12 so I'll do 12 and hit enter now we've got 12 circles that are evenly distributed on the back of this guy so while I'm holding down shift I'm going to come grab this, this, this. I'm going to leave this one out. I'm going to leave this one out because it's in my uh, my fillet pieces. So I'm going to come down here. You see how it's grabbing the whole circle on here because this isn't the uh, surface that we were drawing on. This is the surface we're drawing on, but because we made these two gaps, these are now two different surfaces. But it's all right. You just grab the entire circle here. And then I forgot to grab this one right here, just like that. And we'll hit Q for extrude again. I'll bring it off to the corner so you can see what I'm doing. Come over to uh, extrude to object and I'll come to the back here and then hit enter. And it's just a little something I like to do um, for aesthetics, right? So that's our speaker pod. We have drawn up where our speaker is going to go. So that's great. We're going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. I like to, uh, you know, that 0.1 inches between components. So I'll draw my full circle. I'll draw this line here to keep my wire path. Then hold shift. Extrude that to 0.1 inches. Now we've just closed off our battery compartment and our speaker compartment looking good so far. So now I want to draw on here. I'm going to have to draw my battery contacts Now, when you hit L and enter it's going to be like this and you won't always be able to see the surface you're drawing on so I like to rotate it a little bit now I can see what I'm doing right and I'll take a line and I'll draw it from this corner to this corner I'll take this entire piece and I'll bring it out again 0.1 inches I like to work in 0.1s if I can it's enough that's enough material for the PLA and then um, now we'll draw here now I'm going to come out here and I'm going to draw a line right in the middle and I'll show you why in a second. But then another line is 0.295 inches and it might be different for the battery contacts that you use. But these are for these work well for the battery contacts that I use. Just like that. Now I drew that line here because I'm going to hit S and then mirror. So rather than having to draw all this again, I'm just going to hold down shift and I want these three lines here to be mirrored and I'll pick my mirror line, which is what I drew right here. And then it brings it down right here and then I'll hit enter. That's my battery tab. So now I'm going to grab that surface, extrude it again, and I'm going to bring it all the way down to my wire path. Boom, right there. Those are my battery terminal. These are the holders now for my battery terminals on one side. So that looks good and when, we'll just repeat that over here but I'll, I'll do it rather fast since we already went through one from here to here 
Oops. Dot one. Draw on this surface a line. We'll draw that line first. Just like that. S, the S key. And we want mirror, and then hold down shift to grab multiple objects. We'll pick our mirror line, which is right here. That gives us this object that we can now extrude again to right here. Now we've got our battery terminal our battery terminal holders for both sides modeled in, our battery cradle modeled in, our wire path going all the way from the speaker down here. We've still got wire path right here to make it to the board. Now we want to draw our board, so we're going to go to this surface. <clears throat> I know that this is going to be for a profi, and I know that a profi is 0.70 inches 